The coldest, snowiest days of the year. One way to cope is to think about those warm summer days around, oh, say the 4th of July. It's hard to imagine, right? Well, as our Rob Maloney shows us, a local city council is doing just that, and its members are more concerned with noise from fireworks than the warmer tents. Royal Oak is home to some of the most picturesque neighborhoods in Metro Detroit. It's a destination. A lot of people definitely want to live here. And quality of life means everything. And so when you have the city council looking at changing the way fireworks are dealt with, you know change is afoot. Bonnie Burnett is a great neighbor. Shovel is the walk for an elderly widow across the street. She also believes that when the warm weather comes, the fireworks problem is downright unneighborly. You know, late at night or earlier in the morning, uh, and they would push the envelope on setting the firecrackers off. It's adrenaline rush, you know. The louder, the better. Plumber Austin Virgis likes his neighbors too. It's just that around the 4th of July, he loves the pop-up firework stands and is a steady customer. Whatever they have that's the largest, it goes the highest and makes the loudest noises. During Michigan's lame duck, the legislature passed a new law limiting from 30 to 12 days that you can have your fireworks fun. And Royal Oak City Manager Don Johnson says a local ordinance limiting fireworks happened really because it can. If it was actually up to the people of Royal Oak based on the number of phone calls and complaints we get about fireworks, I think they would like us to ban them altogether. I think there's uh, more important issues. Austin is decidedly not one of them. There's bigger uh, fish to fry, so fireworks, I don't know why they're wasting their time on it. On the other hand, Bonnie is glad to see the council acting. There have been years where it's been very, very jarring. Uh, there have been people who've been very upset, called the police, uh, people with pets. Um, they say their animals just go crazy. They're expecting a second reading on the ordinance in about two weeks time. And at this point, it doesn't look like there's any opposition to prevent it from happening. In Royal Oak, Rod Maloney, Local 4.